doing so this. So he's snaking the window? You're doing it wrong. He's, like he's caught snaking, snaking the, the window. window. <laughs> intentionally or unintentionally. And the one time he comes up, I just threw a rope of paintballs. The bah, first bah, bah. one hits him straight in between the eyes and the glasses. <laughs> and for whatever reason, Junior goes like this. And the rest of it just went... Oh, under the mask and he oh. immediately ah, and then some giant dad goes who did it sweet derek are we live we are live coming to you from las vegas nevada this is the naturals pod how's the hair looks good buddy welcome to this episode of the naturals pod as always respectfully i'm uncle kyle seated next to me sweet derek the producer let's go yeah, 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 yeah new studio man fucking love it dude second episode in but gosh it feels it feels great good. And, and, and if you couldn't tell in last episode let me show you something special oh swivel oh yes he yes, you could swivel back. i might have to incorporate 180 degree uh bond yeah, villain with the turns. Of, yeah. i will have to buy a cat so that way i can facilitate just you know right here or are you gonna get fluffy. the bald cat with from austin powers Maybe but hypoallergenic. That's probably better for me because I don't. I know that you Ooh, are allergic to deadly, cats. Deadly, deadly allergic. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't think I'm like super allergic. But every once in a while, when I'm around a cat, it gives me hit. that stuffy nose and just uh, uh, and like itchy feeling, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, hate this. Where's the Benadryl? Yeah, man. I had one. The first, the first time I ever realized like I was deadly allergic is I was uh, dating someone. Um, and she moved into my place and she had two cats mm. and I would wake up with my eyes swollen mm. shut and bloody noses. And I'm like, I'm going to die. Like, I just can't do this. This isn't going to work. So I'm like, it's, it's a great way to find out. Is something wrong? Yeah. Like, I yeah, can't see it, anything. Yeah. So it is. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm sorry. I love animals. I really do. And I'm still a dog person. I rescued a dog, but, uh, yeah, I just can't, uh, I can't do cats. My body, body won't let me do it. Did so. you ever have pink eye when you were a kid? I have gotten pink eye before. Yeah. Did you have the horrifying experience where you woke up and your eyes were just glued shut and you're like, ah! so I haven't had it. I didn't get the dual whammy where someone just put their butt fart in both my <laughs> eyes, but I had it in one eye and it was closed and you're right. It gets all crusty and you're like, oh man. Caitlin oh, and I had open. it the worst, and that is like a scene from a Saw movie. When you wake up, and you're like, I can't see. So, ya. who farted on whose pillow, dude? Pff, neither. <laughs> Probably I'd scratch my butt and then touch my face, yeah. you know, one of those situations. But I remember one time, I sta I think I was in this room because I, I was in this room, then I was in that room when I was a little boy, and I staggered out, like, ah, something's going wrong. And I nearly fell straight down the stairs. I think dad caught me right, oh, right when I was at the top because you had to, like, take a a hot wash yeah, cloth yeah. and press yeah. it on there to get those things. And that would hurt too. Insane, yeah. Man. Pink eye's not Ugh. enjoyable, dude. I haven't had it in a long time. Thankfully. No dude. shout out to pink eye. Um, Terrible experience. So dude, we got your birthday coming up, man. Super exciting. How do you feel about that? Are you excited for the B day shenanigans, buddy? I mean, let's get one thing straight. People, when you reach a certain age, I want to say for me, 25, do we celebrate? Sure. Can we go out and have a nice dinner and a toast? Sure. But the whole shenanigans of having to, like, some of these people are out of line. and You see it all over Instagram. They're like, it's my birthday week. And they're going on a carnival cruise and uh, I mean, getting I, a three-foot yeah. tall Sunday <laughs> with sparklers sticking out of it. I don't hate it, on it, like, though, dude. You know, you kind of want to keep the tradition. But, yeah, I don't go too crazy. I am like you. I don't really need to do anything crazy. Take me out to, like, a nice fancy thing. Or even, like, a little weekend trip. Like, yeah, we're yeah, doing yeah. is fun with people that matter most This to you. is That's special. Really care it's about. like yeah. a dual purpose thing. Yeah. It's a nice birthday uh, coincidentally, my dad is the day after me, so we will also be celebrating his. And it's just for me, it, for me anymore, I don't feel compelled to have to have a party. Mm. But if I'm going to, you know, it's it, it has like kind of like a special meaning. It's for fun. Yeah. And we're doing the trip and it's going to be fucking awesome. We will uh, throw some pics before we leave. Uh, or actually, well, shit, this is going to be on the air after we've done the trip. Whatever. You'll see it on social. The house was sick is sick was sick whatever be, you'll see it it'll yeah. be great it is a dope house we're gonna find out i'm yeah. trying to plot chronologically yeah. <laughs> what what adverbs and adjectives yeah. i need to use to get this correct uh, but dude speaking of birthdays so when i lived in new york um one of my buddies who lived out there had a birthday and his idea of a birthday was an escape room okay now, i've never experienced an escape room before Shout it was out one of my first rooms. things I've done uh, a few of them. you have what, what was your take on them how did you feel about escape rooms so if you're in las vegas 
there are levels to it. One of them I did was super low budget, and it very <laughs> well could have been just someone's closet. I've in their driven house. by that it one. I don't know if that's there anymore, but have you seen that down on MLK? Mm-mm. It's like there's like a giant. It's like a giant building, and it's and it's, it's like it themed. It themed. Mm, I don't know if I want to do that yeah. one. That might be a little too intense. <laughs> yeah. So there's um. I can't remember the name of that one. It was super low budget. It was still fun. You're essentially locked in a jail cell. Okay. And you're, you know, you're trying to get out. Now, the one that Caitlin and I did, uh, God, that had to have been five or six years ago. It's called Escape Reality. And this place still has to exist because it was like big, 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 high end. Nice. And the one that we did, you were in a mad scientist lab and the puzzles were very cool and intricate like they were they were challenging but it wasn't like insane to where you were never going to get it and they also had they had to have had half a dozen rooms and they rank in difficulty yeah there's one that's probably crazy now yeah so half of us did that one and i think ours was like a medium and then caitlin and a couple of other friends did one that was called like stigmata bloodbath or something (laughs) crazy and that shit was like expert mode and they didn't even get halfway through it we ended up i was honestly Kind of the big dick champ of our group Ooh. and was solving a lot of the clues and we got it out. We didn't set a record, but so are you a hundred percent on escape rooms? I think they're cool. Yeah. I, I wouldn't like go crazy and be someone who does them regularly mm. or have a membership. But if you were like, Hey, do you, then we might have to do that for the pod. If you were like, Hey, do you want to go to escape room? Fuck yeah, I'll do it. Okay. So my experience, I'm going to tell you about mine and why we may need to do that. So mine is we go to dinner first. Okay. And this has total relevancy to the story. So we go to dinner. We have a nice dinner. Um, I think I, I get a burger or whatever. Something, you know. Oh, this Standard, is going to be fine. Sweet Standard, Standard Derek, burger. Um, but it is a little bit of pink on the inside. Now, for me, and unknowingly at the time, if it is like pink, like pretty pink, it gives me ups- upset tummies, dude. It's, okay. it's not good. It I think that's pretty well. common with red it meat. It kind of like, people. yeah, Some it messes me up, right? It doesn't the... process it good. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this is fun. So right after dinner... We go to the escape room. Okay. So we're going in the, we get in there. Everyone's exciting. Um, I was with my ex wife at the time. Um, and then his buddy and then a bunch of like, it was like seven of us or something. It was a pretty big room. Uh, the theme I think was kind of like old school, um, Kind of like a 007, kind of like intricate, like find these special ways so not to a get out of the room. Theme. So it, it wasn't was like a horror, puzzle, it was more of a puzzle, less of, a, less okay. of like a scary uh, situation. Now, with escape rooms, if you haven't experienced escape rooms, when they say that they lock you in, at least in mine, when they lock the door, you are locked in. If you try to open that door, it ends. They end the fucking yeah, thing and you lose. It is a fail and it's you're done. Now, now answer me this. At the escape reality place... They're watching you, and I think you have one. I think you have two, possibly three clues. So if you get stuck, you can go, "Hey, give yes." Us a clue. So they are watching you on camera, and you can shout out, "Hey, we need a clue." They gave us two of those. So anytime we got stuck, we could I go, think two's probably standard. Hit us with hit, hit us with a clue, yeah. and they'd either hit it over the intercom, or they had a like there was like a TV in the room, and they would put the clue on the TV okay, and you'd read legit. it, which was kind of cool. Now, about ten minutes in to the escape room. This food wasn't sitting lightly. Got and the it went from in the tumblies. It went from rumblies to full on, I am going to shit my <laughs> pants. I'm going to shit my pants. So it went from... The worst feeling. Was it the one where you have to take really careful steps? So you feel like I couldn't even move at that point. I was sweating, Kyle. And my only thing was like, I'm not going to escape this room. Just don't escape my butthole into my pants. Yeah. So they're like all in, like into the, the game. And I'm just sitting there like, trying like to fight off back, a crippling like shit. Just trying just, to just oh, freaking no. tighten up the butthole dude. <laughs> and I was like, Oh my God, please figure this out. Please. If, Cause I don't want to be the guy where everyone was having fun. And I'm not even sure. And they you ruined the fun by going, like, I got to take I a gotta, shit. You just ripped the door <laughs> open. Rip the door what was, so, okay. So you were 10 minutes in, what was the what was the time limit that they gave you for this? Uh, so it's forty five minutes, dude. Ooh, so, now, so we're definitely so not I'm, making uh, it through yeah, another thirty five. Like, nah. Just like, please, God, is there a solve bucket this. in this room? No, I'm dude. gonna leave the next. But it was the worst. Clue. There was the worst like pain I've ever experienced, and there was just so many things going on my mind. Like, do I run out this door? Do I open the store? Do I ruin everyone's experience? Hey, man, when you got to go, you got to go. And I was just I was just like, ooh, man, and we were just sweating. And I was just like, yep, yep, good good job on the pot. Hurry up, blah, blah, blah. Like trying to be, and then I was just in the corner just fucking hiding. So so here's, so here's an interesting <laughs> thing to put out there. 
because <laughs> I guarantee this has happened. Yeah. How many escape room enthusiasts do you think just straight wear the diapy, dude? Oh, yeah, and, they just, and they're just there. like, I'm going to make it in. Yeah, nothing's going like, to stop me. I don't it know. It smells like asparagus in the here. The funny Why? thing, though, is mentioning the guys watching. How funny were they? Must have been fucking cracking up just seeing me in there oh, just fucking oh, oh. just sweating and stuff. And, dude, as soon as they figured out, I will say, like, shout out to the people that I was with. I think they did it in around, like, 28, 29 minutes. So they finished oh, so it. Oh, you made it. crushed it. And, dude, so I made it. But, dude. As soon as that door, I ran out, dude. I oh, ran I right it. to the bathroom. I mean, I wouldn't have ran. Because, like, okay, so maybe I, it was a fast paced walk. Life, fast paced walk. Have I had it where it's like, it, flush. yeah, there is no, there it's is just no, like, no, yeah. Oh, and it's like, it's there. <laughs> the one time I was working at Lowe's and I was back in the receipt, it's the same every time this has happened, three times in my life. I was at the back and it just was like, yeah and i was like oh no yeah oh no and the bathroom's right in front of the store <laughs> and for me running is not an option running will just be an immediate evacuation oh, like, okay. i yeah, have I mean, to yeah, <laughs> i have to i have to breathe at a certain pace yeah, i have yeah. to clinch a certain amount <laughs> not too much because we gotta we gotta do a fast walk but oh my god and then the, like literally when this happens I will not even in my head, I will verbally out loud go, oh, please, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me make it, please. Oh, I need to get there. Oh, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and tell me. There's two times in a man's life where he removes his pants really quickly. Okay. One is this. And the other is when a pretty young woman takes her hair (laughs) with a hair tie and starts tying it back. (laughs) And you're like, why did I wear a belt today? But yeah, man, it was funny. And so I ran there and I'm like, oh, and then, dude, I was just it was I was in there for a while. And it was hilarious because in escape rooms, they take the picture afterwards. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're all just standing out there waiting. They're like someone knock like, oh, you almost ready. We're waiting for you. Take the photo without me. (laughs) Yeah, the shame. Hold a piece of paper up that says Derek was here. I know. But I made it. But man, that was a rough experience because I'm like. I just want to escape this room, not for the reason everybody else wants to escape this room. I need room. a different escape. I, I, need, I need an evac. So, I need to get out of here. That was a pretty funny story, but it was it was a miserable existence in that. But I would like to try an escape room. They seem pretty fun. Um, I do like the horror stuff. I know you don't, so I wouldn't be opposed to a horror mm, I, I mean, one, I don't, but don't mind it crazy in that situation. Be. Like, I, in an escape room in a horror one, do you think they have like people actually like running at you? Not coming a, at okay, you? so not at the escape reality place, because after we got done with the Mad Scientist one... We went. We got out, and they had the monitors up, so you could look in the other rooms. Okay. So we saw that they were just a sea lot. The ship lost at sea. They had no idea. They're and their, just, their, their, their one was like, horror oh. themed, right? Obviously, it was. I want to say it was called Stigmata. It was something just like immediately it, brutal wording, where you're like, "Oh, this is gonna be." Because I know they have ones where it's like a serial killers kidnapped you, and you gotta yeah. figure your way out or something. The one, oh man, the one that was really cheap that we went to, I think was. Uh, you were wrongfully imprisoned and you needed to escape because they were going to execute so you. So it's like or something Shawshank crazy. Redemption. Yeah, That's kind of cool. I like or that. Or maybe one. you weren't wrongfully imprisoned. Maybe you were a murderer yeah. just trying to get out. I can't <laughs> yeah. remember. And then the escape reality one. So the one time I went with Caitlin, we did one. And then uh, a different time, I was dating this gal and my buddy Tommy and the girl that he was dating at the time were having a little group date night. We cooked dinner together. Eggplant parm, holler at your boy, I can cook, <laughs> a little wine. And then we decided to go do a couple of these escape rooms. We did the cheap one, and then that really wasn't satisfying because we kind of aced that. I think that took less than 15 minutes for oh, us to Oh, see, that would be, I would be, like, so disappointed. In yeah. That. Like, what is this? How much was it? Was it reasonably priced? Or it wasn't kind of super jacked? expensive. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I, 15 you know, minutes. I, like, I, wanna, I want something that's going to be, like, a 30 to at least 30 minutes to an hour, I feel like. Correct. And if we challenge. go, I'm not going to... I think 45 is like the cap. I think it's 30 to 45 on yeah, most seems, of them, yeah, depending on the difficulty. But if we go, we need to get something with a moderate difficulty. Cause like, I don't want to get, I don't want to get my face punched in and be like, Oh, this sucks. I can't figure out anything. I'm stupid. Yeah. Because, so, <laughs> <I'm> stupid. Yeah. <laughs> we, so we went back to escape reality on this date. Okay. I had done the mad scientist one didn't want to do that. I saw the other one, which just seemed like it was brutally hard. And I remember Caitlin 
Did it have a cool story real with. quick, the Mad Scientist one? Like, it did. Have, like, a it cool did. little story. That's what's fun about the escape rooms. Like, yeah, and well, it was in a room. lab. There was lockers with different scientist names on it, and there you would go in there, oh, and there was really clues cool. about yeah, the scientists see, like and that. stuff, because they cool. had the little bios laid out, so you would get clues yeah. out of them. It was well done. It was well thought out. Shout out Escape Reality, free plug. Uh, and that's probably where we'll end up going. So we went back on this date night, and the one that we decided to do, because I was like, I don't want to do either one of those, and they had an Alice in Wonderland one. Ooh, that sounds cool. The gal who was working there was like, this is extremely difficult. Oh, so, wow. Okay. Uh, and, and, and it was elaborate. They, it, this was not just one room. You were working See, I like that. Correct. You go multiple rooms. Yeah. This one I honestly wouldn't mind doing again. So the first couple rooms weren't insanely hard. We got to this one where you had to do a hopscotch thing in a certain pattern, which took a couple tries to figure out. And that's it was cool because cool. they were the, the tiles were pressure sensitive. And when you got it right, a door clicked oh, open. Oh, that's kind of so sick. That was pretty yeah, rad. That's pretty, that's but the room cool. after that had a wall with all these different bells on it. Okay. And then it had a wheel in the center that had two wheels on it that you would spin to match things up. And it had tarot cards. Fucking insane. So we were trying to figure it out. We're dinging the bells and all kinds of shit. <laughs> we ended up timing out and it wasn't on a really busy night. And the girl came in and I was like, I need the solve. And she showed it to us. And I was like, never going to fucking get that. Like how, who gets this? And she goes, oh, there's people that do. And I'm like, well, those are the true enthusiasts because like it was just so like insane. You're like, I would have never even thought that that combination. Uh, I mean, no, I no. Can you ask no. for hints though? Would that be a moment? You yeah, they had the, the two, like I said, pro I think two is probably the standard yeah. for the clues. And I think we even got those, but the clue was really cryptic too. Like the, the clue, yeah, was I know the clue. Yeah. Itself. <laughs> yeah no, the clue is really cool. If I remember correctly, once she kind of showed us the solve, it makes sense that the clue can't be too elaborate. Cause they really can't give you that much without going. This is how you do it. Uh, that so. makes sense. And there was like two or three more rooms after the one we got stuck oh, in. Damn. So that one was, that one was an expert level, like world series of escape room. We need to look that up. Do you think that there are registered competitions? Oh, I, dude, there's competitions for everything. It wouldn't surprise me. I want to look that up, though. That'd be interesting. Celebrities in the escape room game. Dude, have you seen that movie? The escape room movie? Yes. I haven't seen that yet. Is it cheese? It looked kind of cheese. To okay, me. so we might have to... <laughs> we might have to watch that. And there is a second one that's called The Tournament of Champions. Surprisingly great movie. Oh, wow. I really, really? enjoyed it. Okay, it there's well two done. of them? No, it was good. Shows you far but I this really is, doesn't spoil anything. It's exactly what you think it is. It's another one of those situations where rich people are gambling on other people's lives. Oh, okay. So it's like a Squid Games, but just correct. escape. Correct. But it's version. cool because apparently this shadow government... You still want to watch this. I'm kind of giving away some it's shit right. here, yeah, but whatever. <laughs> Spoiler alert. But... Um, the, all of the people that are in the escape room, they have something in common. Okay. I mean, so there's yeah, that's a, a common typical, okay, thread yeah. between all of yeah, them. So that's not really too big of a spoiler, but when you get to the aha moment in the movie, you're like, Oh, that's crazy. It is pretty wild. I would recommend that. I, I, well, I would say go in with some tact. If you're not a good puzzle person, let's not do an escape room on a date night. Cause you're going to end up looking like a total fucking doofus. Like, well, cause some escape rooms are just two people, right? I feel like for me, an escape room felt more of an, a group experience. So not like a one, two thing. I agree. I'm sure there's some people that do them alone. I don't know if there's a cat. I alone would be a... like fucking, I don't know. That's weird. You must like really love. I mean, whatever. If that's your thing, you love strategy and puzzles. Like puzzles. I love strategy stuff, but like by myself. But to your point, weird, def definitely a more social experience. Yeah. I feel like some of those you probably couldn't even solve like by yourself because there's probably things where you have to do at the same time. Right. There was a couple of those like in the one that I was. I can't remember. But... We would have to go back, but presumably, yes. Well, sure, I, I don't think at that point they probably wouldn't let you do it alone or they would say you need to go get a friend like <laughs> you, you know what a friend is they just shame you you need a friend go outside meet another person <laughs> i mean honestly i think if you sat around there long enough and you really wanted to play with somebody they would probably let you in because i'm pretty sure they charge per head we should go yeah we should go do that i want to experience that man we should see how fast we can get it and see how much we can man. The, the naturals pod yeah how fast we can solve yeah, yeah we'll give it a friend. try maybe we'll set a record and go beat that people beat like that like You'd those rubik's to to cube Vegas, kids dude did obviously. you ever solve a rubik's cube Never, yeah, never. Me I don't either. understand. I got that. close. I did get close. I but. feel like you need like, you know, people are different styles of learners. Some people are visual learners. Some people can read books and then they can just do it. 
I feel like you have to have the brain for that. Yeah. Because I don't understand <laughs> how people look around the fucking cube and know exactly or they have the triangles now or yeah. mega cubes yeah. <laughs> and they just know how they have to turn it to get it back. You've seen the ones blindfolded too? Insane. They, yeah, that's what? Yeah, that's you crazy. have a special brain. I wouldn't go out on a limb and say that all these people are brilliant or necessarily, you know, they need to be curing cancer or have the, the nuclear codes, but, you know, something special. Man, another thing we should go do that I haven't done in forever, but this one, like, if you don't have children, you're probably just going to look like a prick or that you haven't grown up. But why are you looking at me like that? Because then we cross some pedo lines. This here, isn't dude. anything weird. I just want to go play some laser tag, Derek. Oh, laser okay, tag. Okay, okay. Dude, it's funny because there's there's another pod I watched that did like a challenge. They did a laser tag challenge. It was kind of cool where they went in there as adults and they did one on one. It just looks too lame to me. Oh, I'm cheating, bro. <laughs> I'm covering but that's up. That's what a, I hate about I'm laser tag is you just run up to someone and you just go pew 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 pew. Like you know you know what I like and I would do again paintball like if you're gonna get into that realm mm. jump up to the paintball dude because then it's a mm. real thing dude because there's a little I've more tactic had, to it <laughs> i've had some not so great experiences with paint oh really not 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 anything that would keep me from doing it again okay. but so the first time i went paintballing it was me it was a family trip our family and then jared who you know his family we all went up to this uh, resort retreat, whatever you want to call it in Zion national park in Utah. It was actually really cool. Uh, it was called Zion Ponderosa okay. and they had all kinds of shit. You could ride horses, you could ride ATVs. They had a go-kart oh, that sick. you could ride. That was off road. Oh, that's Caitlin kind of went first and she didn't know that she was going to get covered in mud. And she came back putting in the, <laughs> in the go-kart. She's like, ah! <laughs> she was not happy about that. I loved it. I got covered. I hit trees, which kind of hurt. Yeah, that probably would hurt. Um, and then they also had paintball. So, oh, in the woods was, was it like woodsy too? That's yeah. So fun. I, I, they had more of a desert. cleared out area, okay. so there was like more like tall brush and stuff. There wasn't. There was probably some trees. Because some paintball places crazy. they have those inflatables. Yeah. Well, I mean, clearly you know out here about? you got to go with the inflatables because yeah. we live in a fucking flat desert. Correct. Like unless yeah. you're going up to Mount Charleston yeah. to paintball, but so. There was this group of four or five other people that were also staying at Zion Ponderosa. And then it was me, dad, Jared, and uh, Tim, Jared's dad. And we kind of talked them into it because you could see it on the little list of, you know, events or things you could sign up for out there. So we were like, oh, come on, dad, let's, uh, let's do paintball again. My dad's like, all right. So we get suited up. They gave us coveralls and the masks yep. and the guns. And we were playing capture the flag. So there was two yep, different bases. Too, which is fun. Yep. Um, I'm good with just a little team deathmatch action. I just yeah, want that's to cool people. too. Because like, I'll take it. Normally just... paintball, and I'm assuming, not sorry to skip a little bit ahead here, but if you get tagged, you're supposed to count yourself out. Correct. Yeah. You're a cheater if you don't. Correct. And there's a lot of people that. But don't also, play. if the ball hits you and it doesn't break, that doesn't. That shit doesn't count. Correct. That shit does that, not I, count. I agree with that. I think also. that's official rules. We'll have yeah, to look. I think that, that actually is. is I think it is. Paintball. I think it actually has to. It has to it's pop. Insane to me. Professional paintball. Fuck out of here. <laughs> so, anyways, they show us where the two bases are, and they're like, "You guys are going to start on on your base, and then boom, go battle royale." So, Dad is hilarious. He takes his gun and I just see him Homer Simpsoning back into a bush and like getting down right near our base. And I'm like, you're sneaky. Look at you. And he was on your team tactical. Yeah. We okay. were on a team. The strangers were on another team. Okay. So we go, cause you know, me and Jared are young. We want to get out and shoot. Yeah, You want to get in the action and <laughs> we get out there and we get tagged almost immediately. Oh shit. I get hit. Like right in the Damn, sweet headshot. spot in between the goggles and the mask, and it just smokes me in the forehead. And Ooh. Jared got shot twice in the neck, so we're out. Damn. So now Dad is in his rat camping position. Sorry, Dad, Call of Duty. And <laughs> Tim's still kind of a rover. Well, Tim realizes that me and Jared got knocked out, so he circles back to the base. Dad thinks he's an enemy, and he hits no, him, too. friendly fire. Yeah, but if I remember correctly, Dad ended up wiping the whole other team just oh, being sneaky, nice. so it was pretty fun. So my experience with PayPal, I have two of them. I have one that was... 
inflatables and it was outside and it was uh, in the summertime so what that does with the paintballs it makes them softer yeah. so honestly when you, you gotta get have hit, inflatables with the turf yeah i wouldn't even say like grass just turf would be good so you could like dive ours was unfortunately like it was in a parking lot so you, you you're not dive. diving yeah, on that you kind of just had to be like foot or crouch unless you got full body knee pads now dude do a six slide my, i believe it was my 16th birthday I wanted to do like legit paintball and they had like a semi pro, like legit paintball in Carson. And it was a room and it was like a maze. And there was like little rooms and areas and stuff. Oh, and it was very cool. tactical, so very laser tag esque, very laser tag, but with paintball now, unlucky for us and all my little friends, guess who also practices there sometime? The motherfucking SWAT team, <laughs> the fucking SWAT team. Was it Kyle. practice day for SWAT? Oh Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So we're in there and they're like, they pre planned that. They were like, whenever you have a group of teenage boys coming in, just call us so we can get the reps in. Dude, so we go in there and we're literally playing against tactical SWAT team motherfuckers. And uh, I mean, they're like, they're like peeling doors and clearing rooms. Dude, so we just got wrecked, bro. I got one of them, though, dude. And then one of my buddies, I I was I'd go straight crotch shots at that moment against grown men. But I'm like, damn, these guys are tactical, obviously crazy shots. I'm like, this isn't reasonable. And the problem with that, too, is the room's motherfucking cold, Kyle. So to your point, a lot of them hit you and they're stiff, dude. So when they would hit you, it is leaving welt and it was physically painful. It wasn't like, oh, it just hit you. We'll have to look up what the standard pressure because they do that. The 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 competitive top level professional mm-hmm. paintball game is insane because yeah. they check their tanks. No, to make yeah, because sure there's certain pressures and stuff. Yeah, my buddy took one right in like the liver shot, and he had like a huge welt. You got to look up and see if somebody's been killed by a paintball. I need to know that. I mean, yeah, I will look that. I, I, need to I would know be. That. And if so, how I feel many? like unlikely. That'd be unlucky. You have to if there's one, right there's more than one yeah. easily. I took one in the face though, and it cut. Mm. It cut my face. Mm. It actually like clipped blood. Like mm. it made blood on my face. Because, but it, it, dude, it was fun. But some of my friends quit when the SWAT and stuff like that because they're just getting yeah, murdered. And no it hurt. Fun, it's like this dude. isn't it's fun. Like, we're just like, getting you're murdered. Like, I'm gonna get on Call of Duty and play a couple little games, and then you're just going against <laughs> CDL pros. You're like, oh well, this sucks. <laughs> this isn't fun at all. I know. I'm like, so much for enjoying. What timing for that, dude? We going to have fun paintball or playing Sam just comes psycho. bunny hopping yeah. around a corner, just destroying you. <laughs> yeah, dude. Zuma just comes in and just melts your head off. No. Um, so unfortunately, most most of my buddies quit. I still loved it, dude. I went in. I didn't care. And I actually, it was kind of cool because like the later it went, they realized like, all right, we'll, we'll mix them up. And I got to do with some of the SWAT guys. And it was sick because they were showing me like the tactical and I'd follow them. And they were yeah. kind of like, let me in their group. So it, it was pretty fun. But if we're doing that, I got to get my own gun because the second time I went, First of all, I get in there and this shit is just chaos. Like, I don't, I want to say it wasn't captured the flag because where it was at, you know, that all American sports park that's on Rampart. All American sports park that's on Rampart. Hmm. I think so. Is it one with or all Durango the Durango so- or something? It's it on Durango with all soccer, soccer fields yeah, and the and tennis courts. It has courts. a regular park yeah. in front of yeah. it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Exactly so yeah. there's tennis courts there too. Darling tennis center. They took. I believe the cages that were batting cages, it, this thing was something else. They repurposed it. But anyways, they had not the blow ups, but they had it set up almost like a post apocalyptic village or something like they had pallets and all oh, kinds of okay. stuff. It was really cool. But the problem is instead of there being turf grass or even a parking lot, this shit was just straight desert rocks. Ooh, like so, you yeah. had to legitimately look down and watch where you're going. So you didn't trip and oh, eat shit like and that. actually yeah. into yourself. Damn. So we get in there and this, it was insane. There was like 30 people in this small little and it was cage. caged it was like cage. off. Yeah. It, it looked like a batting cage. Essentially it had that netting. That's way too many people for such a small. So I'm area, getting then. in there. I, I rented because at the time I was working at Lowe's making no money. And the gun that I had was like jamming and wasn't firing or you'd press the trigger and it would just, but it wasn't shooting the balls out. Oh, that's annoying. So I get that resolved. Now I got a good one. I'm going in. There's a good mix of teenagers. And what is the game 20s, at this point? Though? You don't even know children. It might've been captured the flag, but it was such a small it was just space so crazy. and you so many know. people yeah. that you were not getting yeah. across. Like that's <laughs> yeah. just a, yeah. that's just a death yeah. run. Yeah. Just, ah, uh, just some rambles. Just, just, remember me avenge me (laughs) so anyways at one point the game just turned into you just got to tag people on the other side for fun like now we're just doing damage we're going for points (laughs) so one of the obstacles on the other side 
was a little shack that had a window in it. Well, this kid kept peeking it. And so I was, because you know you got to have the finger roll when you're with paintball, you yeah. know, so you just... Because if you're doing so this... So he's snaking the window? You're doing it wrong. He's, like he's caught snaking, snaking the window. The window <laughs> intentionally or unintentionally. <laughs> and the one time he comes up, I just threw a rope of paintballs... The bah, bah, first bah. one hits him straight in between the <laughs> eyes and the glasses. And for whatever reason, Junior goes like this. And the rest of it just went oh, under the mask. And he oh. immediately, ah. And then some giant dad goes, who did it? Who like did he it? Meant and was to like do super that, mad. Yeah, and I can't like remember would... who I was there with. I think I think Richard might have been there. Uh, and our other buddy, Tommy. And I just looked at them and I was like, we got to go. Yeah. We got to <laughs> go. go. I just straight <laughs> murdered a child, probably blinded him. How old was this guy? Had to have been 12. <laughs> if you see a kid say, well, this was years ago, so Scott now he'd be a young Scott. man. But if, you know, if you see a kid, it was in this young day man, where blonde I thought hair, paintball would be a fun an time. Patch, and I have I did scarred that. from paintballs. Yeah. Been in battle. I marked it on the gun, too. I was like, one kill. <laughs> Paintball's fun though. We got to do both, man. We got to do the escape room and the paintball, man. But maybe in the future we'll have to organize a like Natty's paintball day. Or oh, that would be fun, man. With some of the fans and the you Natty's can paintball. Shoot us. Yeah, let's we do it. We can shoot you. you. That'd be Fuck great. Laser tag. We need to do laser tag. That's damage. what I'm saying. Laser tag just it's too it's too boring, you man. Need a when you're mark a little kid, it's on fun, your but... body that you can remember, yep. and we will establish a no head or yeah. neck shot rule. And, and I want to experience an escape room where I don't eat beforehand and have to shit my pants. Yeah, we'll do that. Escape room, maybe on the paintball. paintball. Escape room, definitely, Escape though. Room we'll do sure, that. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, another episode, dude. Yeah. So, in closing, make sure your red meat is well done. <laughs> yeah. If you're sensitive to it, so that way it doesn't upset your tum-tum. Escape rooms can be way too hard, and if you're not prepared for that, Take the medium level so that way you can succeed. <laughs> yeah, don't be too cocky and go straight for the bomb hot sauce. Laser tag is not fun as an adult. And if you're going to play paintball, try not to shoot anybody in the face because it does hurt. They are painful. Anyways, guys, until next time, as always, I've been Uncle Kyle. Respectfully, there's sweet Derek. We'll see you on the next one. Love you, Nadiation. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, subscribe, yeah, 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 share, yeah. get the word out there, people. Woo! Thank you for listening to this episode of The Naturals Pod. Please remember to follow us on your Twitter and Instagram accounts at The Naturals Pod. Do you have what it takes to join the Natty Nation? Like and subscribe to find out. <laughs>